This episode of Techzilla is brought to you by ShareFile by Citrix. Randy writes in, Patrick and Shannon with Heartbleed out and sites getting patched. I need to reset a whole bunch of passwords and I still haven't made a decision on a password manager. I have multiple Macs and PCs, a couple of tablets, both iOS and Android. I would like to get a password manager that will work on all of them. I would like it to be able to manage the passwords, store them, create them, and fill in the login forms. To me, this is the only way for me to be willing to use one and get rid of my bad habit of only using three or four passwords on all sites. That's a terrible thing to admit for a net admin, but it's true. Can you point me in the right direction with a couple of recommendations? I prefer free, but don't mind paying for it if it gives me what I want. Shannon, I have also been listening to you about two-factor authentication. What do you think about Google Authentic? Is there anything like the battle.net authenticator? That's about the only thing I've considered using since I really don't want to give Google, Facebook, and everyone else on the net my phone number. Okay, I read this and the first thing, the only thing I think of is LastPass. LastPass Premium for that example, yeah. which is $12 a year, but honestly, that's a very small price to pay for reliable on-the-go security. You can use LastPass on just computers for free and it lets you create a password vault which will keep all your passwords secure under one password that you can create and it has to be something really, right. really extremely strong. Uh, it is encrypted and decrypted locally as opposed to through the internet to LastPass's servers, which means that you are the only one that has any access to your main password or your vault on your machine. Mm -hmm. And it will let you create login forms as well as memorize other forms. So it's kind of like Chrome, which will automatically uh, let you do the same thing with your name, your email address, uh, credit card info, et cetera, filled in for right. you whenever you go to those websites. Now you can also have it set randomly generated passwords, autofill logins, as well as share access to accounts without sharing the password if you want. Hmm. So the thing about LastPass Premium, this version costs 12 bucks a year, and it comes with a 15 day free trial, which I'm currently using on my, on my phone, and there's no credit card required if you do want to set this up, so that's pretty awesome. You can sign up for free. And it lets you do all of the above on your tablet or your phone as well. So this is what's cool. So after the Heartbleed attack, I decided to reset all of my passwords to randomly generated algorithms, some crazy stuff that I can't even remember, in LastPass so that each password is unique. I don't even know what they are, so <laughs> for me, I'm totally cool with paying a quarter a week for security that's on the go whenever I need to log into a website via my phone or my computer. So the LastPass Premium app, it basically is a browser inside an application that can automatically store and fill in your passwords for you. And it gives you easy access to your vault. If you allow it, it can also pass your credentials to other Android applications on your phone so you don't always have to just use that one app. So if you don't mm -hmm. like the LastPass app, like that browser, you can use you know, the Etsy application if you want to sign in on there sure. and it'll automatically fill in those things for you. One thing to note though that I do want to mention, I do not store my main Gmail password, main <laughs> social networks, work, banking passwords, anything like that in LastPass. I have all of that memorized. Although it is secure and I've never had a reason to doubt it, I like knowing that no technical device, whether it's local or not, has my most <laughs> personal accounts memorized. You're laughing because you think I'm paranoid, no, aren't I'm you? I'm <laughs> laughing because, well, okay, so Shannon's worked with Darren on Hack5 for the last few years, which means it's Shannon, his fault. <laughs> oh yeah, it's not his fault. It's the entire. Once you start learning about security, when I started hanging out on DEF CON, my whole yes. outlook on the <laughs> online universe changed. DEF CON is sort of the annual hacker gathering, heading to Black Hat, where some of the most incredible security professionals and security naughty people in the world <laughs> gather to basically exchange information and party their brains out. But you start learning about things um, that you just weren't aware of before, and you get you know that's what I mean. True. If, that's if exactly true. If the password true. isn't anywhere on the internet, they can't get it. Which, yes. by the way kids is the only way to keep your mom from finding out about you being drunk last Friday night. That's true too. Yeah. Don't that, post those pictures on yeah. Facebook. Don't post those pictures. <laughs> yeah. There is no way to secure Facebook from your mom, trust me. Yeah, so that's just one thing that I wanted to mention is like all of those really important ones, banking, Gmail, stuff like that, all of those are in one place. They're just in my mind and that's it. <laughs> and they are all set up with two-factor authentication too. They aren't in LastPass. Now on the note about Google Authenticator as well, I use that on a daily basis for my two-factor authentication. I'm also extremely possessive and secretive about my phone number, obviously. So I totally understand your feels here. If you're using an Android device, Google already knows your phone number and your credentials through the Play Store, which is where you download the Authenticator app. But I've been using this application for a few years now, probably like two or three, and I've never had a problem. I've even tried to hack around it and that doesn't work. So I've tried to <laughs> do like weird 
pin codes that I make up and nothing ever works. I've even tried to put in the pin code after right. it runs out on the Google Authenticator app and that doesn't work. So I know it works. It works with several accounts and several different websites like Dropbox. Uh, I believe Facebook works with it as well as Google Gmail, of course. Uh, Google Auth doesn't require you to purchase a physical authenticator token like Battle.net does as it does with all the authentication in the app. So you also don't get a hound like you do on Battle.net. Right. You get it like this cute little pet for your game. So no pen in mind, I can still say with confidence that Google Authenticator is my app of choice for two-factor authentication. It's very easy to set up, it's easy to use, and it is secure. And I can say that with confidence. We should also point out that you pay your own money for LastPass. I do, yeah. yeah. Um, and it's, it's a quarter a week. I mean, that's not yeah. bad at all. But I would also like to point out, if you have, for example, multiple accounts that are accessed by this, you know, or same account or multiple accounts accessed by multiple family members, for example, mm -hmm. let's say if it's a banking account or something like that. Shannon, of course, is memorizing passwords. Yes. If you're not memorizing <laughs> passwords, LastPass does do some stuff where it creates like a shared family folder that allows you to keep passwords synced across multiple individuals. That's true. That's really, so really that handy no for business. no one person in the house, because like, there's nothing worse than finding out somebody's upgraded the password and not told you and you can't do something really important until you track them down <laughs> and get the password from them. Just very, very easy to use. I love LastPass, and I've been using it for years. I, yeah. yeah, it's one of my favorites. <laughs> but if you want her Gmail password, you're going to need Shannon. My brain. <laughs> Good <Run> luck. Through <laughs> a blender and strain. Oh, my You'll goodness. You'll also need my phone because it's two-factor. My broken phone. It's not worth anything now. <laughs> Remember the thing about lying and not giving out information to people? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Vortex will come right up. But before we do that, let's thank one of our sponsors. In business, we are constantly collaborating with coworkers and clients, sharing files like contracts and spreadsheets and presentations. So it's essential that these important files are kept safe and secure and under your control. That's why we recommend ShareFile by Citrix, the easy to use business solution that allows you to exchange files quickly and securely. We use ShareFile all the time for transferring large files. It's so easy to send out the Techzilla show cuts for review. With ShareFile, you can send files of almost any size, no bounce backs. Control who has access to your files and the level of permissions that they have. ShareFile also syncs automatically, so you and your team will always have the most updated materials. And you can access ShareFile from anywhere, your laptop, your tablet, your smartphone, so you can work on the go. We want you to try ShareFile with our special offer. Sign up today and receive a 30-day free trial, no obligation. Go to ShareFile.com and click on the microphone at the top of the homepage and enter Techzilla. Remember, visit ShareFile.com and type in Techzilla.